By definition, a zoonotic disease is one which can be transmitted to people from animals. Though not terribly common in our country, there are a few diseases which can and do affect us and our families. One such example is ringworm. It's a fungal disease which is potentially contagious to us and our other pets. Ringworm is difficult to cure and even control, particularly in pets with compromised immune systems. This fungal disease likes people just as much as pets, and it has an affinity to spread to any part of the body with hair follicles, so at least palms are safe. The best you can do is be very careful around affected pets. Try to avoid unnecessary contact and wash your hands well after handling them. It is very important to use prescribed medications as directed and make sure to have your pets rechecked as treatment may need to be changed depending on response. Another well-known zoonotic disease is rabies, but fortunately, because of diligent vaccination protocols, we don't hear of many reported cases. Probably one of the more serious transmittable diseases is toxoplasmosis from cat feces. It's a serious protozoan infection, which is particularly dangerous to pregnant women and can be devastating to an unborn child. Some of the intestinal parasites, like Giardia, hookworms, and roundworms, can cause illness in people, especially kids, as well as some of the external parasites, like fleas, ticks, and the sarcoptic mange mite, or scabies mite, which are a nuisance and can cause some annoying skin irritation. Ticks are actually a vector for many diseases, which can affect us as well. Fortunately, as I mentioned earlier, most of these diseases are not very common, especially in more advanced countries like the U.S. and Canada, where basic hygiene is commonplace. Prevention evolves around common sense hygiene and awareness. It is important to wash your hands well after playing with your pets, before eating, or preparing food, especially with puppies and kittens, which are at a greater risk of shedding parasite eggs. Pregnant women should try not to clean the litter boxes or garden where cats may defecate outside without wearing heavy-duty gloves, and they should have their cats tested for toxoplasmosis. Eating well-cooked meat can also prevent toxoplasmosis infection, as this is a major source of exposure. Minimize contact with pets if they've been diagnosed with scabies or ringworm, and always practice good flea and tick control. Though these diseases sound scary, none of them should stop you from sharing your home with your pets. Not one of them would stop me from having my loving, extensive four-legged crew at home. If you have any questions about zoonotic diseases or would like some tips on how to live safely with your pets, view some of our other segments on internal parasites, ringworm, or sarcoptic mange, or ask your veterinarian.